Welcome to Chicago Arts. We sat down with artist Tom Torlemke and talked with him about his show, Afterglow, which is up through September 27th at the Chicago Cultural Center. It came from uh, this idea that I was making work that seemed to be uh, pretty dark over over a period of time and then uh, um, just felt this... Uh, uh, much more positive attitude in the just seemingly in the world at large. It seemed that things seemed to change a little bit, and I was just you know ruminating over that, and I just thought that uh, the, the term was really uh, really appropriate. You know, it's like that something good happens, and then you carry that glow with you for a while. One component of the work that I think is interesting is the variety of the materials that I will use to make the work and the idea that uh, I come to terms with this thought that I get up every day, every day is a new day, and I have to make something. I don't have to, but I choose to make something. And so each day brings a different idea about making something to me. So I will approach it that freely with trying not to think about any categories or anything when I start to make my work. And whatever the material and, and, and the start of my work happens to be, I'll just sort of go with that intuitively. I had been sitting on that paper, not literally sitting on it, but it was in my studio for a long time. And then one of those days I just got up and uh, just dawned on me that I was going to start to play with the paper. For one reason or another, I started to just toy around with it. And I started to fold it and rip holes in it, and then it brought back all kinds of old memories of being in kindergarten and making those snowflakes and stuff. And and then uh, then all of a sudden, I guess my mind just drifted towards uh, people that I knew. So these varying kinds of personalities of these people that I knew, some of which were friends, some were acquaintances, some were just people that maybe I just saw on the train or something like that. So that was just entered into my mind while I was playing with the construction paper. So then all of a sudden I just started making these, these sort of ended up being sort of stereotypical portraits of either friends or personality types or particular looks. So it just crept into me. I left myself open enough to follow this little desire I had to just play in that manner. And then it turned into a, a body of work, it turned into one whole piece. try to uh, create things intuitively so I don't I don't really have very clear specific answers sometimes and I know now you know after years of trying to figure it out or explain it for myself I'll say something or I'll think about something I'll be going after an idea and then six months later it's different you know things have changed and that idea isn't uh, I'm not interested in, in that idea anymore, or the art has taken me in a different direction. You know, I've really been interested in trying to get a wider viewing audience for, for, for my watercolors. Uh, I have painted watercolors my whole career, but I haven't been able to show them in such a, uh, such a wonderful venue. So I'm happy to do that, and I'm, I'm interested to see how people enjoy them, if they like them or not. For more information on Tom and his show at the Cultural Center, visit TomTorlemke.com. Tom will also be featured on Chicago Arts Live, July 27th at 7.30 p.m. Central. You'll be able to watch and participate through Ustream.tv. All pertinent links can be found in the info section of this video. Thank you for watching Chicago Arts. Be sure to join us for our next episode and stay informed by subscribing to our channel. We want to hear what you think, so please take a moment and comment on our programming. Thank you again from Chicago Arts.